Hello. Hello, Ashley. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You're the first once again. You're, you're my, you're my, is... you're my promptest, favoritest, favoritest student. <laughs> <laughs> I only measure students based on their punctuality. Fair enough. Well, I was late almost all the time. You, actually, actually, yeah. If we were to average it out, you are the latest person I've ever met. <laughs> 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 but, but we're not going to do that. We'll we'll look at the most frequent rather than rather than your average. Yeah, I was okay on the weekends. You were, yes. Yeah. But it's understandable with the distance you were travelling. And the trains are all like, oh no, might run today, might run never. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but at least, give, at least we could spend our, our energy pursuing refunds. Oh yeah, I kind of miss it. It is, it is. I, I still have to check my bank because I'm still waiting for a couple to come through. I got a check once. I had to like walk into the bank and be like, here is my check for £4.20. Please cash in. <laughs> Ouch. I know. Yeah, yeah, you can hear the muttering, time waster, time waster. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, what else am I going to do? I'm going to cash the cheque. <laughs> I, I think basically they should do what they do with the airlines and make them compensate you disproportionately to the cost. Like, the train's late, you get 150 quid. Oh, the train would never be late. Wait, what? <laughs> You've hit the nail on the head, precisely. And the branches, they don't exist anymore. <laughs> I mean, giving you back, like, a couple of quid is meaningless. Yeah. Like, really. It's no punishment for them. That's true. Not if you're a very rich train company. Well, they are, yeah. They've got plenty of cash. They're also quite subsidised, aren't they? Andrea. Andrea. Oh, OK. Oh. We're back to Windows 95. I know. Very Wait, impressive. used to say like windows across the hill though. Oh no. You uh, guys. <laughs> what was actually funny, I was actually watching, <laughs> this is how sad I am, and in, I was watching a documentary called The History of Windows 95. And really? the guy had found all the beta versions, the pre release versions, and he was showing all the different all the differences incrementally. Like things like the background and how the colour scheme changed and stuff. Things that are underrated include the screensavers. Yeah, I love this. It was surprisingly entertaining. Back when you didn't turn your computer off because it was too complicated is to get it, it back on. Is it on YouTube? Uh, I'm, I'm going to send you the links. Actually, it was it was it was very very uh, it was good. Mm. Oh. Thank you. Oh my God! So they tear. You missed playing something here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what else do we used to play? We used to play this thing called, like, oh, I don't remember. Zeke? Yes, Zeke and the Geek. We used to play this. What was that? Yes. You're looping in Bing. Who are you? Just because I search here. <laughs> Zeke the Geek. Bing is Ooh, a search engine from the company oh. you bought your laptop from. Bing is is Bing is cute. It's cute that it thinks I like it. Uh. <laughs> Bing. So how are you guys? How is life in lockdown? We're pretty good. How is the world of Andrea? Nah, pretty boring. I feel like I'm I'm studying. Like now that I passed the interview, I'm not studying anymore. So I feel like I have more no. time to. No, no, no. No, it's the other way around, Andrea. <laughs> now you've got the job, you no. need to really start learning. <laughs> no, I know, I know, but I mean, in my spare time, I'm excited to learn during working hours. Okay, you mean That's you want to be paid my... to learn? I mean, I've I taken on many projects. Have other... I mean, I've taken many projects now to start trying to really learn the subject, like in the weeks before I have to start doing the job. This is something I would never do. <laughs> well, yeah, but if you know you can learn it, what, what difference does it make? If somebody, says to me, can, if somebody says to me, can you do something? I don't have to know how to do it at that point in time. I just have to be able to learn it before I have to do it. Uh, Hello, Kim. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How's everyone doing? We're all pretty good. Um, we just oh, discussed... Good. I've just sent a link to the history of Windows 95 because uh -huh. Andrea's background is Windows 95. I have a related <laughs> a related game. This is a bit we're into a bit of nostalgia now. Zeke the Geek. Okay, that looks pretty okay. ancient. Did anyone else play Zeke the Geek on like oh. Windows 95? No, but it looks great. I'm not sure what happened. Like, I'm trying to. There's no Wikipedia article about it. <laughs> there's a Wikipedia article about everything that's important. Yeah. Even about our rest. Nineteen ninety-five. Sorry, say again, Andrea. We, we should write an article about you. <laughs> you should. Yeah. No, no, no. That's the last thing I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna populate it with fake data, obviously. Oh. So we're gonna confuse everybody. No, 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 now you're talking my language. If you want, missing misinformation is. It's better than no information. Oh, you can just like confuse. At least just, like yeah, confuse, confusing is the solution. But, I mean, that's like the principle of anonymity networks: is that if you're mixed up with all these other people, you can't work out what's you and what's somebody else. Mm. Mm. Lisa's not going to join us tonight. I don't know if you've seen it on Slack. No, nope, I didn't. No. What's her excuse? She's not. got a headache. <laughs> so reply, okay. I'll reply, cool. So, anything anybody wants to talk about before we begin? <laughs> um, <laughs> beat an hour for. Yeah. Not really. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, for, I forgot. I, so I was remembering that when I was at World Code School, we were always supposed to have a retrospective like each day. We never had a retrospective. No, we not? never did that, Russell. No, 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 no. Can I just tell you why we didn't have a retrospective? Because you came in and you just gave me the retrospective. <laughs> I didn't have yeah, to ask for it. Natural, <laughs> so, did you have a perspective with the full timers? We did, yes, yeah. With your group? My fa <laughs> with my favourite group. <laughs> yeah. But they're not, they're kind of not my favourites anymore because they're not here anymore, so. They're not your group anymore, yeah. They're not, they're not by any definition my group. No. <laughs> so I'll just have to go my second bests. <laughs> You see, and I'm not even saying it's you. <laughs> like, well, surely we wouldn't be the third. The third. Well, that would make you the last. So yeah. we can't be last. Please. Yeah, you can be joint second. Well, I wonder there's something that I can bring up in in this retrospective. Um, that I when we coded the other day, I really liked the way that we all. Towards the end, we kind of all became the driver. It wasn't just one person. I, like you, like I could not agree more. I right? feel like it's better when we're actually when we're when when you're the driver, and everyone. And speaking for myself, I definitely tend to kind of drift off if someone else is driving. I find it very easy to just yeah. not really focus. No, no. But if you're kind of definitely all doing it together, then I find that a, a bit easier to kind of focus and engage with. The whole, the whole point of live share is that you can all code at once. So when yeah. I was watching it, I was like, this is brilliant. Like, yeah. this, the, and maybe that's where we got more done because at one point there were three people all coding at the same time. I yeah. definitely think that is the, that is the way we should move forwards. Yeah. And also, because if the driver doesn't know how to do something, then it's good that it might not necessarily be Russell telling the person what to do. It might be someone yeah. else something in teaching the person precisely because this was, this was my other thought kim was that yeah. i'm still spending too much time telling you what to type yeah and you should start getting to the point where i could just give you like 
a, a problem and you should go and figure out how to write the function or the class or whatever yeah. so if you start all all coding then i can just help you individually when you're stuck on something yeah okay, hey. on that i feel like i can do it by myself like if you just give me a computer i can code by myself but if i have to do it it's all of you looking like i just but, cannot focus but, properly but the, you won't be looking because because the others will be working on their own bits in fact, the best bit was when you were all typing on the same document and it was like yeah. <laughs> watching magic happen. Isn't there that yeah. story about that something that used to do work at night when the somebody went to sleep? Huh? There's a children's story. About what? About when the something person went to sleep, little elves would make something. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was it a sh was it a shoemaker or something? Yeah, that sounds kind of familiar. Right, and it, yeah, he would go to bed and then he'd wake up in the morning and the elves would have finished off his work. Yeah. Yes. Right, that's what I'm looking for basically. I want to go to sleep and then wake <laughs> up and the app's built. <laughs> mm, why not quite that yet? But I see where you're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> Elves on the shoemaker by. Is that what it's called? Yeah, by the brothers Groom. Yeah, Brother Grimm, that's what it is. Die Wechtelmänner. Of course, uh, yeah. I don't remember. What's the some moral about it in the end? Did they uh, steal all the shoes or something? Ladies. You cannot do that. I'm, I'm just, I'm just checking just there in case I'm asking for something I'm going to dislike. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything weird. Right. Yeah, but normally remember those sorts of things, it was always something like, do your own work. <laughs> uh, well, then it's like kind of magic. It's like that weird, like the Hanukkah tale. So like he only had enough to make a pair of shoes. He didn't have enough leather. And then the elves like finished. And then there is some praying, there's some religion in here. And then the shoes are finished. And then his wife says, okay, well, we should check and see who's helping you. And so she stays up all night in the corner of the room to see these like elves working and then running away. And then the wife forces the guy to say thank you to the elves who are running around naked, frozen. <laughs> Nobody said the elves were naked. Well, they are, and so she makes he makes the guy make the elves shoes. Close. <laughs> so I think the moral is to say thank you to the people that help you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. I'll say thank you at the end when you've coded the app. <laughs> <laughs> so these the plan is unless anybody's got a better idea let's figure out how we're going to make this puzzle work it's the capture one from google yes oh, no 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 not from google we're going to do our own oh, yeah. no yeah but we're going to have we're going to have in i mean so the simplest way would be we have a grid of nine images we tell somebody which ones to click on and they have to click on them we show that they've been clicked on and if they've clicked on the correct ones then they pass the puzzle. Do we want nine? Do, well, do we want? Yeah, that's a good question. And We're I'm not, not e robots off. We're just trying to test Granny Pooh. Maybe four. Four seems good. What about six? If you think up the orientation of the screen. Six is a perfect square. Nah. Okay, let's try four. But we've got to, we've got to make sure that. Oh no, or do, at least one of the images is a match for the for the text description. Mm -hmm. We don't want Granny Poodle being told to click on the cats and there's no cats. Yeah. Otherwise, no. she's going to think she, the, the current situation where there isn't there isn't a correct answer. Mm. Well, it would be causing stress when she thinks well, she's going to. Sorry. 
So we're going to need a lot of pictures, right? That we know what they are. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So did you know that Google doesn't really know what the pictures are? Right? They said that they was training, we're training Google. You're training it for the pictures. So what it does is if you keep categorizing, when enough people have categorized an image as being a cat, it then uses that to check it, if it's a cat. So you're training you mean the, the test. Capture. Not in the capture, right? Yeah, in the capture, yeah. So what the capture does, the, fir the first one or two times that it challenges you, it uses captures it knows the answer to. Then it gives you images it doesn't know the answer to. And based on your categorization, it then has data about those images. And then it starts using them next time. I mean, that's overly simplistic, but the point is it's the, the capture itself is being trained by the users. Have you ever noticed mm. sometimes you'll get one that says click on, click on all the pictures of the fire hydrants and there's just a picture of a cat? That's because it doesn't, it's not sure whether that picture of it is a cat or of the fire hydrants. And when you <laughs> click skip, it knows it's not a, a cat or a fire hydrant. Mm. Which is, which is what's really evil about it, that you're training Google's system. Which is why when you should randomly choose the wrong answer sometimes just to, just to break the data. <laughs> well, someone should make a lot of these robots that just categorize these pictures wrongly. Yeah, well, no, okay. Yeah, but the, 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 the well, supposed AI that categorizes the pictures it has to have some starting point to understand how to categorize them. So in other words, if a million people have all said that these images are of cats, then it knows that similar images are going to be a cat. But how does it know that's a cat? It's got to have some starting point with which to extrapolate, oh, this is a, this is a different cat. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, do you disagree, I don't know, actually? I never got a cat. Always fire hydrants. I'm thinking about something else. You're, you're, you're upset because there's not enough rat ones. <laughs> yeah, more rat representation. I've never actually seen a rat on, on the capture. No, me neither. So how, how do these scripts work then that um, like hackers can write? Like, can they not surpass the capture in yes. any way? Yes, yeah, sometimes they or can. They, because they have their own, their own categorization where they can make statistical guesses as to what the correct yeah. answer is. But did you know? But you know some of those paid for ones. Do you know what they're actually doing? They're using, they're, to using, they're using humans to solve them. They pay people to sit there all day, quickly, firing away. Really? Yeah. You, you imagine if your job was clicking captures all day, how good you would get at it. So you can normally get captures solved by a human for less than a penny a time. So. Yeah. Sometimes paying people is a better option. <laughs> well, and then you, if you like have the AI watching while the people are solving it, there you go. In 500 years, the AI can do it. <laughs> you can do it, exactly. The other one is there's, there's, there's another hack which goes on, which is a bit clever. So what happens is that if a site wants to defeat captures, it sets up its own website that does something useful, like, you know, lets you send, send large files via email or whatever it is. They take the capture from the site they want to hack and they put it on their own website. So when people try and enter their own website and see the capture, they use the answer for the website they actually want to gain access to. Does that make sense? Yeah, but like then you have to have a website that people visit. Which so far have made no websites that people visit. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but potentially, if you wanted to solve a million of Google's captures, you could put those captures on your own website, and if you got enough people to visit it, then humans will be solving them for you. But no one visits my websites. Then you wouldn't be a good candidate for the situation. <laughs> the point is, when you when you fill out a capture, you don't know if that's the capture for that website, or if you're not solving a capture for a hack on the other side of the world. I don't mind. Trust no one, mm -hmm. check everything twice. That's, that's uh, my, that's sometimes my there's this uh, super basic capture, like a tick box, and it says, I'm not a robot, and you just have to click it. Yeah, because I think what it's doing is it's looking for where you click it. Yeah. 
because well, there's also honey pots. Yeah. Mm. Ones that ones that just pretend to be yeah. something they're not. And I think the click one's probably clever because if you measured the time between it loading and being clicked and looked at where it was clicked, you would expect it to not be the exact edge. But but something simulating it probably doesn't do those sorts of things. Or there's like another checkbox that humans can't see but robots can see because yeah. robots aren't looking at a screen they're like reading code and then if the robot clicks the invisible thing they yeah. know that's they not a human but, but this this is the arms war between between the hackers and the capture people like every time somebody thinks of something new somebody comes up with a better a better way around it but i mean we're implementing a pretty basic capture it would be pretty easy to defeat it t automatically because yeah. hey we're using the rotation css so it's not like but for the purposes of granny poodle i think it's adequate we're trying to deceive a senior citizen not a robot <laughs> but here's one thing right if granny poodle can open the inspect element and change the number of degrees <laughs> she's I'm not having fine. a stroke she's fine like, <laughs> <laughs> this is you when you're old you're gonna be like 80 and like inspecting yeah. the element <laughs> <laughs> that's if we even have, I have them there might be something whole totally new <laughs> true <laughs> they'll be chipping you they're not chipping me i'm, I'm refusing to be chipped <laughs> in fact in fact do i know something horrendous so well not horrendous but horrendous to me um, Dell's new laptop has a fingerprint reader inside the power button. Oh. So you can't turn that laptop on without it actually reading your fingerprints. Oh, so someone will chop off your thumb. Well, I mean, you have to try and press it with your knuckle or something, or, or, put, or, or, or wear, like, gloves. I don't know. Or you could just put tape over it. Yeah, you could do, yeah. But the point is, it's like... You can't even turn the computer on without it trying to read your finger. So I essentially, they're, they're reading your fingerprints all the time. Well, that's probably designed so that no one can get inside of your thing without reading the fingerprint. Well, I mean, I mean they're safe for security, but if you were a hacker, you would actually be able to capture some of these fingerprints by reading the sensor. I'm not a hacker. You are a hacker. You, I've well, told people about you and about your little antics with that newspaper website. Every, everybody's very impressed because that is actually true hacking. Like, <laughs> you, you, you modified the code to make it do something it shouldn't do to save yourself money. Well, yeah. I just didn't want to have to cancel the thing after seven days. Yeah, like, I mean... So, I wanted okay. to, like, one article. Okay, you're an ethical hacker then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it's still pretty cool, though. So, um, back to the back to my original point. <laughs> We're gonna have four images. Yeah. We've got to yeah. we've got to basically get some data, render these four images on the screen, do something when they click. So maybe we show them in a different color or put a red box. I mean, I, I, I mean, this is Kim's domain. Like, we need to show that they're depressed. That's the important bit. Ooh. That Granny Poogle is clear. Say again. We could even just do colours. So like get yeah. colours, CSS colours from the colour names, and actually, then say that, click on the blue square. That is actually a really good point. And that would be that would save having images. We could just say click on click on all the green squares. Yeah, oh yeah, or well, oh, maybe this is a bit tricky. I was gonna say different shades of the colour, but maybe that's the thing. That could be green what that could be screen specific. Like a triangle. Yeah, we can do all that in CSS. We can do fills. We could do, we could say, click on the red circles and the blue squares. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be neater. Actually, that actually feels like a nicer solution. Should we do that, or does Ashley look slightly upset that we're not using her API? What? No. <laughs> I, I like that idea because that's a pure CSS solution. It's her idea. No images, colours mm -hmm. and shapes. Like for toddlers. <laughs> yeah, like for toddlers. Yeah, but actually saying um, you've got to click, you know, 
the red triangle and the blue square. But if there's a blue triangle as well, that's that's not. Should we leave all the yeah. colours and the shapes together? So like every triangle is red and no, every no. circle no. is blue. I think so that's too simplistic. I think colour blind people are not disadvantaged. Mm. Oh. No, if yeah. that's the case, we shouldn't use colour, we should just use shapes. Just shapes. Because otherwise you're making it I, I'm worried it'll be too easy. Because like, yeah, like but I, people are having a stroke they can't even like really open it okay like, I, okay but let me tell you I, this is my technical threshold of having a stroke so my nan she could pick up the phone she could press the speed dial button to ring somebody but she couldn't speak or do anything other than that okay. so i think that people would potentially still be able to click on a triangle that's mm. Okay. Then you still have got to read it, I suppose. You still got to read the question. Yeah. Because it could be square. Could be. How many shapes can we have, though? Depends on well, how many we can do. <laughs> we, well, yeah. We, get, we obviously we can have a square. We can have a triangle. We can have a circle. A circle. Could we do a heart? We could do a, a diamond. Heart. We could do a di. We could do diamond. Yeah, you could do a diamond. You could probably do a, a five shape. Uh, hexagon. Okay, I don't want to get too fancy now, but what if we used, okay, Brian, what if we used icons from Font Awesome? Ooh. Hey, and, that's a good idea. And say, and say, click on the picture of the man in a cool wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, so, that's good. Because, because you could say, click on the right hand arrow, click on the circle, click on the picture of a computer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's be and more we've all, challenging we've all, yeah it'd be more challenging and we've already got font awesome and yeah. we know how it works okay how uh, would we randomize it how would we randomize it uh, well we just need an array of potential options yeah can we change the color and we could do yeah a lot i don't know because ash doesn't want to do the color because they're colorblind people Oh, so we're not doing the colour no, no. at all. We won't do colour. We'll do we'll do font awesome graphics. So if we had an array, we could just choose four random array elements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just need to we need to choose the images carefully and make mm -hmm. sure that we're not choosing ones that look similar. Yeah. So well, we should we do more control? Control? Should we do like? Hmm. Say again. <laughs> so, like four possible. Like right. there's going to be four in the in the diagram. Yeah. You want yeah. only four possible, or do we want more than four possible in the four? Does Does this question make sense? We, we, there should be at least one correct answer up to four, but we should randomise that. Well, there'll be four tiles, each having a different image, so four unique images. But do we want only four possible unique images, or do we want a bank with other possible? We can no. have, we can have like maybe between like four, four and eight. There are, I think we, I think we allow duplicates. So we say click on all the ones with a left hand arrow, because then we can just randomise it. And sometimes it would be two left arrows. Sometimes it would be something else. Yeah, so I guess the smaller the bank of icons we have. The more likely it is that duplicates could come up. Yeah, precisely. I mean, I have told uh, you about that. I did maybe like six, six different icons, and it's uh, still quite likely that. I think you need six because it's for a screen size, and that's going to lend itself to the. Did I ever tell you about? Did I ever tell you about the original iPod Shuffle? You know the what? what? Yeah. yeah, the iPod Shuffle. You know that randomizes the songs. Oh yeah. But the early, the first versions could only hold like a dozen songs, so they didn't oh, make it yeah. random because it would statistically sometimes play the same song three times in a row. So it was random, but it never chose the song it just chose. Do you remember? So, so it was like a pseudo random. <laughs> Which so we need to make we need to make sure we're not showing the same puzzle twice in a row. Oh yeah. Wait, naughty thing. They had before you I heard... weren't alive in the you weren't alive in the north. Yeah, you were alive in the noughties. Oh yeah, I was on the playground. 
We had hit clips. <laughs> which I don't know how to explain. There's no images on here, so this isn't very useful. Are you sending a link? I don't know how to send a link to like the images. Send an image. Okay. This. It was like this little. It was tiny. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and you would like what plug in these tiny little things. And it would play like 30 seconds of a song and then you had to switch to the second one. Yeah. So see the rest of the song. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. It's like SIM card technology for like half a song. <laughs> <laughs> they were great. Okay, so... <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna have to do something more in, something we've not done in react before to make this work okay in font awesome those images are components yeah so we need to dynamically return a component based on its name from a, from a, an array that we randomly choose something from so in other words okay okay so if the array if the array says choose the downwards arrow, you need to load the downwards arrow components. So but why is it why is it a component? Because it, in Font Awesome, they're all components. In React icons, which React uses icons, yeah. which is built on top of Font Awesome. Yeah. So so you so you have to dynamically choose the component name. But won't it be the other way around? So it won't be. If it says choose the downwards arrow, we have to make sure the downwards arrow appears. It's going to be the other way around. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, but that, 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 that's not my point. My point is, is that you know in the code when you write left hand arrow, yeah, such and such, those have got to now be dynamic because yeah. they'll be different each time. Okay. So we can't hard code the the, the component name. We've got to yeah. dynamically set the component name. Yeah, uh, which, can we, well, like... Which you've never done before. No, but can we use dynamic rendering like we've done in the past, contingent on some other factors? Yeah, so I, I think what we're going to do, we're going to have a class somewhere that's got all these images in it, it's got all these components, and basically we ask it to give us back four components, including information about the component, like, you know what what's the name of the image so we know what question to write okay that sounds hard what it's, i yeah. would do <laughs> is i would like determine some stuff yeah. in the state so like be like okay well run some functions and then return some i don't know some things some ids use the ids put them in an array in a sequence depending on some stuff and some functions and then conditionally render based on what appears in that array. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's right, but you, we still have to dynamically choose the component name. Mm, I would just use them all, and then rent you do like a bunch of ternaries. Yeah, well, that was my day. That's, that's what I think is going to be nasty. If in your component, you've got like a hundred, a hundred conditions, you know, if it's this, then show this component. If it's this, show this component. That feels, that, that, well, yeah, but that feels nasty. I'm so, <laughs> so, so did, but everyone, did everyone get Ashley's solution there? We can have a giant switch statement that returns the correct components. And I'm saying, well, actually, we can dynamically set the component name itself without a switch statement. That sounds interesting, but I don't know how to do that. So mm. yeah, well, we, we can just do it like we do anything other dynamic in React or, or JavaScript. So I'm just saying, don't... <laughs> If you're feeding a variable into a function and then having a hundred conditionals to return different things, maybe you should just do it dynamically. Okay, right. I think this is my solution. I think Ashley's going to start coding it her way. No. Right. And then when it gets to a point that it starts looking daft and off the screen, we'll no. go down the dynamic route. Why don't we start with the dynamic route? Don't waste time. <laughs> you, yeah, but you're very enthusiastic about it. <laughs> No, I'm scared. 
I'm, let's go, but I'm scared. Okay. The, the first thing, the first thing we need to do is make is make a component for this puzzle based on the naming structure of the last one. You shared the live chain. No. No. I will do it now. Starting a collaboration session. Thank you. Uh, why is that not? For some reason, it periodically wants to reauthorize me. Hmm. Is it because you like wipe all your cookies and forensically clean everything all the time? Uh, no comment. Because you use a VPN <laughs> no, no, from random places. No, no comment. <laughs> in fact, in fact, I tell you something funny happened uh, yesterday when I was talking to one of the uh, the other part timers. Um, we were both looking on Google. At the number of pages on a website and i said it was 196 and the other person said it's not it's 169. what right the number the number of pages that google thought were indexed on a website hmm. and then i realized it's because he was he was looking at it from the uk where i popped out in the netherlands for the evening for the evening session so i was seeing a different server's storage of uh, a different server's indexing of the contents, which was out of date, which had a different number of pages. Well, it's not because if you think when Google's indexing a, indexing a site, it's got to it's got to copy that index to a dozen or a hundred other servers around the world. So it doesn't do that live; it does it periodically. So in different countries, you'll see slightly different search results at different points in, in time. Like Codalina. No, no, the website itself is the same. It was the amount of pages Google thought it, it had indexed that was different. Yeah, but what if we updated it in the UK? How long before the US would know? Well, the US might know before before Google UK knows. It just happens to depend on what's indexed it first and at what point they're syncing the various data centers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you get the same thing on YouTube. You could look on a YouTube video and see a different view count than somebody in Australia, because the Australian server hasn't yet been updated with the site with the with the information of how many people have viewed it. Generally, big companies they dish they, because they're distributed in multiple countries. They have a whole issue of syncing up their data. I think Tom Scott had a video about that. He did. I, in fact, I watched that video a couple of months ago. It was yeah. very interesting. He was saying about why tweet counts go up and down while you're watching them because of synchronization. Mm -hmm. um, his videos are really good, but then he had one which was slightly pro the surveillance state, so I got upset with him. Really? Really? He was saying that a backdoor into WhatsApp might not be a bad idea. Oh. And I was horrified. <laughs> I mean, he sort of pulled it back towards the end of the video, but... <laughs> I like a more extreme view. <laughs> okay, so I have I have Kim, I have Ashley. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I can see it in the chat. Is, is it on chat? On the chat. It, it it's the bottom link on the chat. Yeah, I don't see the um files. Is that normal? You don't see the files? It says loading file tree settings JSON one two three one two five. Uh, you, might just give, you might just take it a second. I have the chat from last week, uh, like from Tuesday. Can you put it on Slack, please? Uh, I can. Like. There you go. One. The last one. Uh, I wish there was a refresh. Uh, I, there is. I mean, I can see you actually inside, so. Yeah, I can see people, but I can't see anything. Are you sure you, you click the page icon at the top left? Wait, I can see stuff. But it says loading a final screen. It says it's very angry. It says it's angry. 
what doesn't like in this VS Code this settings dot JSON file with one two three comma one two five. I don't know what that is either. It doesn't like it. In VS Code. Yeah. So VS Code. I, uh, I'm going to delete that because I don't know what that is. I think it might be me randomly typing. Hang on, if you can see that, you must be inside. Yeah, I, I'm in. I didn't see the all of the files. It was upset about this one, and then it had a had a moment, and now I'm here. <laughs> um, I don't know. The terminal works now too, so that's good. Are you messing? Well, up, are you messing with my terminal? No, I just it, there was nothing in there. It was blackness. Oh, okay. In the beginning, it was dark. <laughs> <laughs> So how many icons do you reckon we should have? I think six. I, I think six because it's the orientation of the phone. That's why I... I mean, only six or like a, like a big hook and from that we just random display six no I, I i think i think six six in total i think six are displayed so we have, have yeah yeah but so we'll have, we'll have like 50 uh, we've got at least 50. 50. oh really within the chances of chances of there being duplicates are quite low and we want yeah, but, that, yeah but that that's fine though but taking four from 50 we, we, we can, if we want duplicates, we can do that easily. We can just, we can just randomise, get three, and one of them duplicate it. But I'm, ju I'm just saying, like, if you actually always want there to be two of the same. But it should be random, though. There should think, be a... Yeah, it should be random. But then, but 50 is quite a lot. Okay, yeah. let's do 20, then. Okay, yeah. 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 We just don't want the same pattern to come up in the same order. Yeah. yeah, and we're always going to ask for a click on the arrow, not well, click on the arrow and the house. Yeah, no, no, we'll run, we'll randomize that. We'll randomize what to click on. So we'll choose if there's six images, we'll choose between two and four of them to click on. So, so, so we get six images. We then choose between two and four. And then we actually say, click on the ones that are a house, an arrow, and a wheelchair or whatever. So there's a different number of answers each time. Or do you not agree? Um, I think this is fine. I think, well, so you're going to have to like randomly generate what? An array of with an index and a value? Yeah, so I, I think there'll be an array of candidate of candidate images, and then we will we will randomly go and pick six images yeah. from there and put it in a new array. And put it in a new array. Yeah. And that array must contain objects that have both the image and the question. The, 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 the part of the question we're going to okay. ask to identify and, the image. And a number or an index? No, because it'll have an index in the array because it's yeah. an array of objects. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. So we just need those two bits of information. Then if all those are clicked on that, that match when it's... Okay, so we should have a function. No, you don't need the question because you can just save what the name... No, because the name is not obvious. No. Like so, FA something weird. Yeah. So, so, so you know what we did in utils? We yeah. the puzzle. And we have those functions that return the data. We need yeah. one of those for this one. But what it returns is an array of objects that has the image in it, the text question that we're going to ask the user and if we're actually asking them a question about this particular image. So we need to basically return an object that's got all the spec in it that we need to, to render the interface. So I think we should start by writing the function that returns the data and the components. Oh, finally. Okay. 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 So I think yeah. the first thing you want to do, you want to define in puzzle, we need to have the function, define the array, 
and then let's just put like six font awesome images in there for now just to mm. play with can we pick some good ones yes i think yeah. ones that are unambiguous um, but also kind of fun yeah um, is, are there fun images yeah i made, yeah. A, I made a selection okay but it's oh. in react icons so whatever react icons there must be things thanks. like a smiley face like oh click on click on your son's face when you arrive <laughs> Oh, yeah, smiley faces and react icons. It's cute. <laughs> cute. Oh. Andrea, did you say you've already made a selection? I did, but actually, I don't know if they're uh, in React. Should they be? I think they should be. Yeah, react icons. <laughs> this one, GI rat. We can have a rat in there. Yes. <laughs> There's also a triceratops. So, like, I mean, what's what's the link you're looking at? React icons. React icons, and then it's got like a pink. Hang on, have we got? I thought we were using font no, awesome. No, but we're using React icons. <laughs> but it but, it plugs into font ice. But awesome. I thought, I, was gonna, I thought underneath it was font oh. awesome. It is, but it's other things as well. It's not exclusively font awesome. Hmm. Really? Okay, let me like it. It's in the imports. That's not wow. loading. Reactoicons.github. It's in the. Uh... 404, there isn't a GitHub page here. Wait, that happened to me last time. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. Uh, didn't it then work? Didn't it then fix itself in a, in a minute later? I think you had to. I think I had to just Google React icon and go on it that way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to go forward slash forward slash React icons. Okay, I can see, yeah, so Font Awesome was a sub-library inside there. Yes. Do we think grandmas know about triceratopses? Mm, well, we could just say dinosaur. Maybe. That's a good test because she has to be able to like, actually read the word dinosaur. Yeah. Like sometimes I can solve captures without reading the text just by identifying what the key part of the image is. So I think definitely uh, making it harder than that. Mm. Okay, I already got. I've got the rat in. So like. Times. Wait, is there a llama? <laughs> <laughs> How many do we want? So we want 20 in total, right? Yeah. I mean, there aren't too many. Most of them are pro. <laughs> hmm? There's a camel. <laughs> there is a camel. There's a camel. Yeah, because everyone knows what a camel is. Okay. It's the closest I can get to a llama. <laughs> That's. Llama artist. <laughs> Have you seen the doctor face one? He doesn't look like a doctor. He looks like a World War Two. Oh, the pla plague doctor. <laughs> no, he a plague doctor. <laughs> oh yeah, doctor face. Oh, yeah. oh, it looks kind of like a bikini. I don't know. It's a bit ambiguous. <laughs> What are you looking at? If you type in doctor. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> the proportions are all wrong there for a bikini. That's actually funny. I'd like to get you one of those um, charts of psychology shoes. Oh, 
with the butterfly images. <laughs> yeah, because it's got the like straps and then the okay. like. I thought I thought gas mask. You thought bikini. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, no, I see, I see bikini. That that's weird. That's creepy, Doctor Face. Doctor Face. <laughs> Where is it? I can see nothing. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to make a Google sheet with all of these. Yes, yeah, good idea. Yeah, because I think we'll lose them in the chat, but I'll make. Oh. Bong. There's a font awesome for a bong. That's a what? A bong. You know? oh, no bongs for Granny Poodle. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure she went to Woodstock or something. Is that a poodle? We have to oh. one day pitch this to investors. I don't want to explain the bong icon. <laughs> I don't think we will. There's a kind of font as well. Huh. Is there a cat? Oh, there is. Oh, a dog. Oh, hell yes. Oh, God. I need another. I need a different internet. It's a dream catcher and a caterpillar. Not oh, kind of stuff. Okay, so we have. Five so far. Only five. Yeah, only five. What's some we, good we, are, we, we are going to allow Granny Poodle to click a button. Okay, so while Kim is doing those images, why doesn't Ashley start writing the function that's going to randomly choose six from from the array? Okay. Hang on. I've got a geriatric rat. And Andrea can can keep pressing F five to try and make her internet work. <laughs> you have you have a, a what rat? A geriatric rat. She's in intensive care. Do you want to see? Hang on, I don't know if you can see. You have a nurse shirt as well for rats. <laughs> um, I want to show, but I don't want to. Listen, you've already cracked your screen. It's a, is that your bed? Yeah. It's very unmade. Well, because there's <laughs> a rat right here. That's a rat. It's this huge. is a rat. It looks, it looks dead. <laughs> dead. She's not quite dead. We have an end of life appointment on the weekend, so hang on. Sorry, what, I'm what, just waiting. On, what, what does it? What's an end of life appointment? End of life appointment you mean, you is where you go you in. You're going to kill your rats. Well, does it look very happy to you? <laughs> okay. I can keep. Do you have to pay to it? Syringe feeding it. Yeah. But. So with, any, with any luck, it might go before the weekend then. <laughs> but, yeah. So, geriatric rat. She keeps. Sometimes she does a little crawl over it, but she might fall off the bed. So, like. Touch and go. <laughs> Anyways, back to writing functions that do cool things. There. Yeah. Uh, what are we calling this? What? Yeah. What's the capture call? Capture, please. Uh, no. The, the well. Image. image it's, the, it's the. It's the. It's the. Icon? It's the image quiz. They're they're all captures in a in a sense. Mm. Oh yeah, but it's the, the classic capture. It is, yes. We like a bit of consistency. We need a, we need a lap. Okay. Um, and then we're going to have let possible images. Yeah. Equal Kim's brilliant array. And then okay, but in the array, we're gonna they're gonna be objects, and they're gonna contain the component name and the question that we ask about the image. Yeah. Well, actually, it's just it's tight, isn't it? Because we need to say this is a car, this is a this is a nurse, this is a gas mask. Yeah. Right. Yes. Not a gas mask. Gas mask. 
let's uh, um, keep it happy. Oh, okay. Listen, if you're being gassed, nothing more than <laughs> what you really want is a gas mask. In fact, in these times, everyone, everyone wants a gas mask, so... Mm -hmm. Image shortlist equal boom, boom, boom. Okay. So what, we need something that's, that like... Just, put, just put some sample data in 17, just in one of them, so that we decide the structure of the data. What, do we want the icon? Yeah, this, this, will, be the, this will be the name of the icon. Hang on. Do you got that Google Sheet already, or...? I mean, I've got 14 on there so far. Yeah, that would be Bye. Chef's Kiss. Okay, do we so Russell? Yes. Do we just want? We need we need this. the name of the icon. Yeah, but as a string. Okay. It will that be the string which is the like chat. Yes. No, because... no, it's business. No. Okay. Um, because at this point, it's just the name of the icon that we are dynamically setting. Although we've got a challenge coming up, but we, we will figure it out. Um, half screen. Hang on, just just before. Okay, this is this is maybe to Kim then. Um, Ashley's written rats as the as the description for the image. Yeah. But maybe it will be rat because it's going to say click on all the pictures that contain a rat. Yeah. Okay. Because then we can just build up a sentence from. Yeah. The images. Gi click. rat. So. I assume the sentence will be click on all the images that contain a and rat. then and if it's two a, a rat arrow, giraffe cam, gas bell, mask. right arrow dog cat smile smiley face camera airplane football present musical note heart pizza star okay yeah that, that works let's see, i need to get four more andrea do you have any are you still doing something with your internet not the ball. Not keep, the ball. It, <laughs> keep it PG. If I have what? Okay. Any more icons? Yeah. Some cool icons. What about. What was Granny Poodle like? Can you send me the link for your thing for that? I'll put it in the chat. It's just a link to a Google spreadsheet. Well, the end of the icons is in there too. The chat. I can see the chat from Tuesday. Wait, uh, let me just scroll back. to the bottom. It must. Uh... Do we just have? Do we only have a? Okay, no. no. Oh, Andrea's gone. Oh no. No. Back. I'm back. I emerged. <laughs> I'm 
That's what I want, like, <laughs> like a onesie to say, I emerged. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you now. Amazing. Instead of like, I'm a big sister. I'm I emerged. <laughs> Maybe I'm too easily amused. <laughs> Did you find uh, the website? Oh, all right. <laughs> now I also have the 404. Like, how did you solve it? Uh, no, in the chat, I put the correct link. The one that Ashley sent was defective. I didn't send one. I sent one. Uh, the one that Kim sent. Hey, th listen, this uh, is. The I Without Lisa, I, I can't make a mistake. I, I tried with the one that you put, Russell. Oh. <laughs> Weird, well, it's like when you send it as a link, it just stops working. Well, mine definitely works. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. No, it doesn't work again. Really? Well, it's something spooky is going on here. Very. I thought I already did right now. No, I left there, man. Right, this link I'm sending, Andrea, definitely works. Or your money back. <laughs> or your money back. It's okay because you've not given me any money, so I'm quite safe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What are we going to do if lockdown ends? Are we going to continue making this? Yeah, I mean, you, I don't think... You, be you better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh. being left with half a source code. <laughs> <laughs> and, if, and, if, and if you don't, I'll, I'll, I'll get in the car and I can pick you all off. <laughs> I was thinking that, though. I was like, oh, what if we can go back to our offices? How will, we, how will I do this? But it would actually be fine if I finish work at 5.30, I could probably be home for half six. Because I actually much prefer coding, doing the lessons at home, um, than going to a venue, because I don't end up going home, getting home at like half ten. In the well, well, that's the whole point, isn't it? Half nine, the class ends, all you got to do is turn over, go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what happened to number 18? Was that me? Is it, is it gone? Oh. I'm deleting the No. I've touched nothing. Oh, no. I have. <laughs> um, what, what's going on with your code, Ashley? It's I'm not... Scrolling forever, but... It's, it's <laughs> not... If there's, a, there's a syntax error before you go any further. Oh, yeah, it's down here. Line 21. It doesn't like. It doesn't like. No, get rid of that. You don't want a semicolon there. Not a semicolon after the comma. Is that what it wants? Yeah, you, not. Yeah. Oh, bugger. No, not there. I thought in. Oh, that's it. Phew, beautiful. <laughs> it was very upsetting with all the code off the screen. Yeah, so I get better now. Much better. Much very nice. Okay, good. Um. Mm -hmm. It's done some weird repeating stuff, though. This is not good. Uh, it looks fine to me. Oh, half <gasps> right. Oh, I'm just going to make the, the, right, the rat with a couple of arms. Yeah. <laughs> we must have consistency. What is this device camera? It's a camera. OK, so just camera. OK, just checking, making sure I'm not telling lies to. Yeah. I feel like you'll know what a camera is, right? Yeah. I think people will know what a camera is. Unless you've been mm -hmm. like, for 1800. Yeah, although if we are going to make this, I don't know, I think if we're going to make this app available to like religious extremists in the middle of, in Utah. They aren't down, they don't have phones. But they're not going to be using the phone anyway, so they're not going to. They kind of like or deodorant. Do you, do you know, I was actually, I was actually watching a thing about it. <laughs> general cyber security thing about these people in utah that like they have a computer 
which has like no internet access and no camera and no, you can't play music on films and stuff. Is it the Amish? Like, yeah, it was like an Amish or something like that. Yeah. And I was thinking, that sounds bloody good. I'm going to get one. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to move to Utah and join a cult. <laughs> an anti technology cult. Amish or a cult? Well, you already started a cult. That's why we're here. Yeah, but this is a, this is a pro technology cult. <laughs> But it's also been like no technology, yeah, or like cautious. <laughs> okay. Is that is your rat on your lap? Yeah, she wanted cuddles. She may die on you tonight, live. Russell. Russell. That's very insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> We can have a little ceremony. I do have a casket, a, a shoebox. <laughs> a shoebox. That I plan to find daisies for tomorrow. But, uh... The poor rat's there thinking, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> You've already got the coffin and arranged the appointment. <laughs> I've got, well, she's nearly dead. Like, if you've got a brain tumour. So how, how do they know it's a brain tumour? Well, I mean, did the MRI it's the leading hurt? cause leading cause of death in uh, rats. Because they think too much. Mm, they're no, very, they're very cunning. No, it's that something goes wrong with their pituitary gland. Quite common. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but she's like 85 in human years. Mm. So she lived a good ratty life. So she's granny, granny poodle and rats. Granny ratty. Granny ratty, yeah. She kept crawling over here. She didn't want to sit on her sick bed. So like, fair enough. I can give her one thing. It's love. Mm. Should we get 30? 30 icons? Of course. Cool, There's no harm in having more. I mean, I think you'd be surprised how often the same thing will come up when we're choosing six. Yeah, yeah, we have. <laughs> is a watch, I, just I checking know. that a watch is a watch and not like yeah. eyes or something. It's a watch, yeah. Okay. Ooh, a dolphin. Yep, a dolphin in. Uh, I accidentally scrolled. Oh no, I scrolled over. Uh, okay. I really wish I had a like actual mouse that I put my hand on top of. I I invested one of those. I miss I miss mice. Mm. Um, watch. Heart attack if we put a spider. Is it a what? A spider. <laughs> I was thinking that as well. <laughs> Oh, squid! Is that a bit random? Diamond. They're all a bit random. <laughs> oh, what about a goose? Do you know what a goose is? Yes. Yeah, okay, I'll do the goose. Here we go. We've got 30. Don't know. Which one is it? GitHub Oc Oc Titans. What? Say that again. No, like, where did the, where, where did the Kim find the goose? Um, oh, I clicked him on one of them. I think it's, yeah, Octagon. No, or Game Icon, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, there is that game. famous goose, untitled goose game. That's game Icon. There's a lot. A lot of icons. Hello. I found the squirrel. Do we have the squirrel? Wait, I think, yeah, we already have a squirrel and we've got hard on here. Twice, guys. Uh, what? We got a heart here yeah. and heart here. Fourteen and twenty-four, so ten apart. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, I got a... oh, should we get? <laughs> oh no. Are you gonna? Sh uh, is are you thinking? What are you thinking? No, I'm putting it in the chat, but Andrea, is yeah. it a penis? No, Andrea, you have to take that code and type it into the search button. Everyone can do that actually. What is it? <laughs> oh. oh my god, where is it? 
Oh, no! Oh. What is it? It's a Codalina. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's a sick man. I know where she got her logo from. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. uh, well, it's not exactly the same. No. It's near us. Yeah. I guarantee if you went and swapped that for her logo, she would notice. <laughs> Do you think she's looking at our no. website? She's too focused on seeing how people are hacking her PayPal account. <laughs> uh, okay, we need to find one more. One more icon. Uh, oh, an airplane. That could be a good one. We've already got an airplane. Number 10. Well done. Okay, what don't we have? Hmm. We don't have a dinosaur. The GitHub logo. <laughs> Not the GitHub logo. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Poodle will be like, who, who is GitHub? <laughs> Wait, I need to make more of these. You're okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. Did you have a pulse? No. A what? Like the pulse, you know, like the heart, heartbeat. That's not. Because it's just having a stroke. Like, yeah, let's, let's get away from death. <laughs> Create a short pulse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that leads. Yeah, oh, oh my then. goodness, something's gone horribly wrong. Oh, you fixed it. Sorry. Right. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh no, we've got 30. Yeah. Oh, fine. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh. What is red? Well, the heart. Oh. Did you did you delete the heart because it was trying? Yeah, yeah I deleted the heart from the other one and just moved the row. What Again. is Reg, Reg Gym? Diamond. Okay. Diamond. Okay. Do you think we should have more? Or 30 are enough? I feel like that is enough. Yeah, we, we, oh, I think 30 I think 30 is fine for now. Okay. Yeah. Because you can just add more to the, more to the array. We could even have it on the server and just dynamically change it. Goose. Goose. Dark. Dark. <laughs> I have found an image that it is impossible to rotate accurately. Right. Just, uh, it's the succulent. Right. Take a look at this one. Can you see? See, you'd, look see, see you'd, you'd think it was that way. Oh. Can you see? Oh. Right. Just but if I go all the way around that way, look, that doesn't work either because the correct orientation is actually that way. How oh. would you know that? You wouldn't. It's, it's one no. of those. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> it's one of those overly stylistic shots. Yeah. But Granny Poodle will have to click new image. <laughs> Um, okay, well, I've, I've created a list. <laughs> Have you checked uh, it twice? Hang on. Uh. I, I, I don't know why Pretty does that. Tell it to leave. Get out, Pretty. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to return six random array elements. And push them into a short list. Yes. Now, one thing you're going to need a loop to iterate mm. six times. Yeah. And then each time you want to choose a random array element and push it into the into the images shortlist array. But as a top tip, you need to declare your array before you start looping over your candidate data. Okay. Well, 
are we gonna need like 30 imports in the component for each one? We are. Is there I, any I, way to fit like each? I've just looked it up, right? And I can't find a way of doing it. The docs don't seem to have any way of doing a dynamic import. We can dynamically use a component, but not dynamically import it. So I think we're going to have to write them all out. But it's okay because we enjoy that. Is it six or seven? Where does it stop when six. it reaches it or six. after it completes it? No, no, when I have less than six. Which, because then it'll be zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Less than six. So if it's less than six, it will be five, It will be six because it starts at zero. Four and then... I plus plus. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so... We got 30, so we need a number between one and 30. But... Let's think about it. What if we added extra ones to the array? So what shouldn't we use the shouldn't we use the length of the array with which to So if we mathed up random times mm -hmm. the yeah. array's length, we would get a number that was always an array element, no matter how big or small the array was. So declare declare a new variable called elements. We're going to slightly change this, and then you're going to use the math dot random times the array dot length. Images. Yeah. Mm. Okay, but we need to wrap that in math dot floor because array because we don't want to uh, we don't want element one point seven. So that now will, okay, can we just, let's just console log uh, element just to check that's all working before we go any further and I'll just run it quickly. Yeah. And then just, uh, just, call, just call the function for 52. What is it, image quiz? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So we should see six random numbers between zero and foot, zero and twenty-nine. Yeah. Yeah, but not in an array yet. Oh, that didn't work. Node puzzle. Uh, is it definitely saved? Mm -hmm. Okay, image quiz is a function. So why is that not executing? Image quit. Uh, there's something. Can you return it? No, no, we just console login. Yeah. I got it gone. Haven't you got? I oh, know. I haven't you got to make i zero. Var i equals zero. Yes. Um. Oh. Possible images. Dot. Oh no no. It's not possible image. Or is it? Is that what it is? But is dot length a function? Uh, no. Dot length a property. Like yeah. that. That's looking Over better. Something. Okay, missing arguments. Possible images dot length. No, no, you're missing your bracket. You've got your... That's dot random. Try again. Um, I think you you ran. Oh, there you go. There you go. Zero twenty four fifteen fourteen twenty one fifteen. Okay, right. So now we want to push the elements. Oh, can you run it one more time? Just because I don't want, like because zero is at the front there. Okay, thank right. you. Yeah. Let's just check. There's not a thirty. Yeah. No. Cool. Aww. Right. So now if we add new if we add new array elements. It still works. Yeah. So basically, we now need to push the element onto Into the array. Image shortening. Yes. But then we're going to just, right, we're going to slightly condense it in a minute when you've done it your way. 
Well. <sighs> okay. No. Okay, so everybody understand what's going on there on 47 and 48? Yes. Okay, why don't we just yeah. put 47 inside the parameters of 48? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, so take, take math.floor to the end of the line and put it inside <laughs> elements. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then an extra one at the end. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's beautiful now. So we're pushing in whatever the random selection is. That is going to work. Yeah. So now, on, can you on 40? No, no. Console log images shortlist once we finish making it so we can see all the data. Your auto completes having a field day. <laughs> it, it's like. It's yeah. like it knows what you want to do. It's going to do something different, which is horrendous. Okay, right, I'll run that. So what we should see is six random objects. And I'm com confidence is high. Oh, Yay. hang on. It's the index. So we need to get the index. Pull the index. Oh, it's no, right. sorry, you're missing, the, you're missing the square brackets. What? We, put, we, are, we, are, we are pushing onto the array that item from the index, that, that, that item. So we need to do array. like. So it's, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. And then finish it off. Yeah. Uh, why isn't it going two lines? Oh, there you go. Okay. Because you have to save it. Oh. Look at that. Yay. It One works, hit. right. Okay, let's check the difference. Come on. Nice. That's nice. I could do that all day. <laughs> right, can we right, can we just can we just push that to get quickly? Oh the only thing oh I'm just gonna quickly make musical notes into musical notes. I was actually gonna comment on that, but I thought okay. I'll... Well I don't know with the if it's like a two it, No, it's not it's it's one musical note, but I I I think because the way we're going to format the sentence, we should say Click on all the images. Which, yeah, yeah. Which, click, click on each image that contains a musical note, a bell, a camera. Yeah. And yeah. The plane. yeah. 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 Okay. Well, just... Go on. No, that's it. Right. Uh, I'll just share my terminal so somebody can push that. Oh, thank you. And then um, we will move on to actually getting this into our component and then dynamically rendering the correct images. Where are you? Hang on. Oh, uh, it's doing that weird thing again. That's okay. Wait. Ooh, we should use a fancy word. Procuring. And and randomly that that is just a superb git message. Very accurate. Uh oh, hang on. My job. What? What? Because I, I I haven't set up yet on this thing. Okay, yeah, I've got like my view. I see random lines on top of other lines, and I just type over them. So like, tell me if something weird happens. Is that who I am? Quite in my email now. It's on the Where? internet. For I, know, I know, I know, but I'm just trying to remember what it is. What it is on Git. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Hang on, all these commits appear to be from me. Right, carry on. Because, yeah, they are because of you. Because yeah. we're doing it from your computer. Yeah. 
Right, go on. Finish off your, finish off your commit. Okay. Oh. Wait, did it not commit? No, because... There you go. Okay, it's because, because I hadn't set up the username and email. No. Okay, perfect. Right. So now let's go make the components, import the random data like we did in the other puzzles, and then we can start figuring out how we're going to randomly show these icons. Are we going to actually render the correct icons? Okay. Um. So you want to hold your opponent? Yeah. Consistent with the other ones, please. Oh, We should also um, swap in R, so it's rendering this component, not the other puzzle. Andrea, um, would you like to accomplish that? Yeah. In app. Yeah, because at the moment we, we 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 need to load. We're not loading the image puzzle component. That's one we need to uh, swap it for for testing purposes. Okay. That was good for me. Uh, I'm, Are we wait. Going to, we're going to have to import every single one of those. Image, yes. please. Yeah. We made this mistake last time. Uh, what, what did we do? Kim, should we divide them? I can import, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, P and Wait. What? Wait. what? It's called image quiz. Huh? It won't what? work because it's called image quiz. And? Right? Um, no, wait. Are you, are, you, are you exporting it? Yeah, no, no, no. Image puzzle, isn't it? What? No, no, it's image quiz is the function name. Yeah, that's Yeah, um, but image puzzle is the class name. Yeah. <laughs> because the quiz is inside the puzzle. The puzzle contains a quiz. Okay, okay. Fine. It's too, <laughs> late. It's too late to change it now. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you might be right. I mean, if anything, it's the, it's oh, the puzzle spec or something. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this might not be too bad. No, well, why don't you just copy and paste the list from... I am. That's it. And then just put commas. That's all you need to okay, do. I'll, I'll have a comma from the top if someone else wants to do the comments from the bottom. Where are we? You're nearly done now. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, welcome. It'd be a race, see who meets in the middle. Oh, can you put in port for all of them? Oh! No, 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 you don't need to do that. Yeah, 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 I've seen you Okay, someone press save? Yeah. But, oh, but got... they're not all from Pontasm, are they? Nope. Look hmm? at that. They are, they're all, yeah, they are. They're all from React okay. Oh! But that's forward slash FA. Is it, do you have to import it separately if it's from a different one? Oh, wait, should we describe? I assume it's F-A-G-I, G-O, I-O. Okay, before we do that, 
in case it actually is fighting and we can just take off the word FA. Let's just try using one and see what happens. So just try using one of those components in the render method. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, do, do, yes, it, Kate. Okay, un... Okay, uh, import error, GI Goose is not exported from reacticonz.fa. Right, okay. this, this isn't going to work, but I'm just going to try it anyway for craziness. No. So, so basically, you need to import each one individually, each group individually. Yeah, okay. Listen, I, I said just use Font Awesome. <laughs> nah, okay, so we've got these ones. I'm going to... Go and delete all of these. Bear with me. No, just, just sort, just sort them. Alphabetically. Yeah, I've done it on the sheet. Oh, okay. yes, exactly. Um, if you quickly, can you? Oh no, we need to do the commas as well. Okay, I think we should tag team this. Make it quicker. <laughs> uh, hang on. Let me just figure out which ones. Iconicons is I O. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I reckon it's the same kind of thing. Can't, can't we just do? React icon star or something. I don't know. Okay, I O. I'll do G I. I'll do F I. Um, what is what is the other one? Um, G O. What is G O? Hub autocons. Yep. Is the same stuff. Very clever. Are you doing geo, Ashley? Yeah. Okay, I'll do GI. Andrea, do you want to do? FI, I think that's one that we still have to do. Now this is one where I wish it wouldn't put everything on a new line. Does that? Yes. Make something? Oh, but it's why is it indenting that first one for the I/O ones? Let's keep it fresh. Okay, fresh. Okay, passing it unexpected token. Oh, okay, that works. We have a picture of a duck. Okay. So, it's a goose. is it a goose? Yeah, we well, remember. Listen, uh, it's a Russell, dog. Can you share your um website? You can't. You can't see my my port three thousand. No, I can't. Oh. oh, it's because I stopped it to do um. Oh, I have to be careful because if I share the wrong port, you'll be able to see my other stuff. <laughs> Right, there you go. All of your government secrets. It's like if, if you start the server after you do the live share initiation. Oh, yeah. Hello, Goose. 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 Okay. So, what we need to do now, like we did in the other puzzles, we need to put our random puzzle creator data in the state. So maybe you should copy the, the structure of the state from one of the other components because we did all that other stuff where we had the count and everything. 
So it's just puzzle and count. Uh, yes. We're going to get like loads of these is defined but never used. It's the whole point is to define them but only use six. Yeah, I'm going to investigate a better solution to that because it just, it just feels a little bit hacky. Because it's going to say they're all unused in a minute. Okay, so now we need to make a grid of six. Hmm. Are we actually going to use grid? You see it. I I like divs and span. But go on, you, you whatever you like. <laughs> Could you um, basically we just want six images. But in a in a grid. So you know I'm, I'm, I'm no a, a table. Listen, I made websites when divs didn't even exist. Okay. You, you come yeah. along with your fantasy div mechanisms, flex box <laughs> and all that. Stuff. With CSS grid, <laughs> you, you, you're spoiled. An actual goose. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's display grid, and then inline grid. Is someone. No. I've got a link. I'll send you the thing. And then, in, in essence, each comp each grid is going to contain one of the components. Yeah. And it will be array element zero, then one, two, three, four, and five. Sorry? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, we need CSS. Oh. Exists in styles. We need a new folder. New file. What are we calling it? Image puzzle? Yeah. Do we have any fans on YouTube? <laughs> we have 11 followers. No, but like, are they asking us important questions? Like, there what was, are we doing? There was one person asked a question about a week ago saying, what are you doing? But by the time I read it, <laughs> it, already, it, already, it already ended. But now I've got the chat window open. So if somebody just comments, then I'll then I'll, I can reply straight away. Mm, good. Um, what was I doing? Okay, I was in. I'm in this window. I'm in this program. <laughs> Where are we? We're here. Okay, okay. So we need to make a follow the internet example. You mean copy code off the internet? Yeah, you can you can code you can copy them, right? Yeah, pretty exactly. I wonder, I wonder if you could make an app which where you did nothing but take chunks of code off W three schools, but you couldn't change <laughs> it. Like you could make something of all these building blocks. That would be a fun game. You would, and then, yes. like, if you can't do it, you have to drink or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, this is the second time you've suggested drinking as a forfeit for failing coding. Is there anything you would like to do? Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. But it's not in a grid. It's in a. It's in a column. Okay. Hang on. I haven't done any of the CSS yet. This is what makes it a grid. I've imported the CSS file into the. Oh. Kim. This teamwork. Such a good friend. <laughs> um. Display inline grid. What do we want? All direct children of the grid container automatically become grid items, grid rows, grid gaps. We don't want any... Oh, we do want some grid gap. Okay, cool. This is the same thing, so you go in here. Who's contacting me? No. Ah, oh. Uh, what's happening? Okay, that. Nice. Um, 
What else? Ba -ba -bum. Grid row gap. What's the difference? Grid column gap and grid row gap. Oh. Or you could just do grid gap. It appears. That's what we're going to do. I feel like we should probably give the grid a border so that Granny Poodle can tell what's in a separate box. Well, you know what that feels like. Not the border yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, grid column. <laughs> One what line one line two. Okay, you can't you can't do that import in everything. Mm. It just it just isn't something that's supported. Um, you could put them in another file, have all your imports in another file, but that's just moving the code around. Um, somebody's wrote some extra add-on for Babel that does it, but to be honest, I think we can live with those imports. Without going overly yeah, complicated yeah. and so I've got a question, Russell. So on say for example a like a portfolio website. Yeah. And people want to display all of their portfolio images or whatever on one page. If you were to build that in React, would you just have to import every single image in, like this? No, because you could just put the image on the server and just have a reference okay, to the image. Okay. If you okay. wanted to actually embed them in your app itself, but that wouldn't be advisable for images because they could be quite big. Then it would have okay. to load every image with your app. Okay, so, so you should really have a server. Yeah, so they, they, they would be okay. in the static images folder Okay. on, on the back end, basically. Um, okay. The reason that we like embed these icons is because they're so tiny and then they'll load mm -hmm. instantly. Um, but you could embed them. It would just be a, could be a really bad idea. Uh -huh. Your app could be like 20 megabytes, which you, and everything would have to yeah. load. But once it yeah. loaded, everything would happen instantly. So there's a, there's a, yeah. there's a pro and a con. So we want two columns or three columns? Two, because there's six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's my vision. <laughs> Bam. Nice. Um, do we need grid template rows, I assume? Finds the height of each row. The whole grid inside the container. So while while Ashley is doing that, somebody could actually import the components into the image puzzle.jsx. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, Who's doing that? Is that Kim? No, right. I just want to see what it yeah, looks but... like. <laughs> but... <laughs> I want to see what it looks like with a little icon instead. Right, but you're not, you're not hard coding them in because they're going to be random each time. No, I know, I know. I just want to see what the, um, what the okay. grid looks like with the icons. Well, if you, if, you, if you just put JSX in there and do this.state.puzzle.element0.name, this but also, just as a quick release, as a sneak peek, uh, and it's really cool. Okay. Does it look? Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? <laughs> ah! <laughs> cute. So it's working. The rubbish that I'm typing is effective. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I'll now do. Okay. Where's the div? So this in spec. Okay. So. It's going to be this this dot state dot puzzle. This dot state dot puzzle. Uh, dot okay. element at the element the element number, which for the first one will be zero. So 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 puzzles and arrays in it. Okay. So you don't want the dot in there. So you want array element zero. Right. Okay. Dot and then the property is called icon. Uh, Called, what's it called? Icon. Icon. Okay. But that, if you just save that, because that's just going to show the name of them. Yeah. Well, that, that's not exactly what you want. Oh, why is it not? 
Okay. So, oh, okay. So, but that needs to be inside the tag to show that it's a component. And then, oh, okay. But the the this dots state dot puzzle yeah. itself yeah. needs to be inside square brackets. Uh, to show that it to show that we've done and then we need a slash at the end don't we uh, and then i think we can scrap the curlies i think the curlies don't need to be there oh okay oh really okay i'm just I'm just checking i did actually just look it up and i can't remember now just let me uh um, wait, 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 wait. Fair? Hang on. What does do? where's it gone Rendered. Mm. I'll close the tab now. <laughs> okay this is the one okay okay sorry sorry so in our return we've got this dot state dot puzzle uh you've got the jet sets is correct i think maybe we need to surround i don't know whether that should have that should have oh should i have curly brackets or oh around it yeah i'm gonna say i don't know whether that itself should have curlies oh that looks better um, the other way the other way around the other way around yeah the, the, the actual the actual value there was yeah. was being curlies no. be, be, because that that's getting that from the states but then the yeah. dynamic access in does it need a dollar sign yeah, i'm just because the, the the only example i could find oh hang on hang on i think we need to return Nope. Well, I'll just I'll just send you the link to the example I found because okay. his example is much more simplistic. So just take a look at that, and I'm just scanning through it to see. Maybe we need to put it into a variable then. I like his like funny website. Oh, it's medium. This is one. Maybe it's you like, can't. I like to it on a mountainside. Return this sort of tag. I mean, maybe we need a function. Oh, that's interesting. But okay. Equals this dot state dot puzzle zero dot icon. This dot state dot. Oh, hang on. This dot state dot puzzle is undefined. Are we sure we've got that right? Oh. We might, we might be trying to solve a problem and actually... Probably somewhere else.
that's an object. Oh, hang on, it's undefined. The puzzle is undefined. So, so what's in the state is undefined. Wow. So we're not returning something in image quiz? Yeah. So maybe there's a put the bug in image quiz. Yeah, mm. you were never returning anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. line 51 of the puzzle. We should really read the error messages rather than assuming the problem is in the thing we've just written. Okay. Yay, it works. Okay, well, it mostly works. So now, yeah. so now uh, my whole var test this dot state dot puzzle zero, but it isn't showing that icon. Mm. Let's just check what's in the property in case there's something else in there that we don't realize. Okay, IO MD pizza. So that's the string. So if I put IO MD pizza in there, if that works. Uh oh. Yeah. Icon is it's there. It's yeah, on but, yeah, but that's because I've hard coded it. You've hard coded it, yeah. But I'm saying, but why would I do VAR test? Because I'm looking in the guy's code example. Oh, what's he done here? This component. So we have to specify the index because we have an we, array of six. We put in, we put in zero in there. Oh yeah, we have. I think we import we're importing that way, okay. Oh, components. <coughs> well, that's weird because his code example has equals. If I get more rats, I might name them Foo and Bar. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Foo and Bar. Foo and Bar. It's not Very inside joke. It would be, yes, yeah. Okay, I'm just I'm literally just gonna type out in case there's something strange. So equals oh no oh no no it's that. Oh dear. Okay. Fail to compile, test is not defined. Oh Oh Well that's weird because the his code example is exactly what I've done now you down to the letter and it still doesn't work. It's gotten 2,000 claps, though. Yeah. Okay, it's not anything daft like to string. We know that inside puzzle is the component name. Wait, he says an important thing that says name starting with a capital letter will compile to the create component method. Which is what so, we're using. Okay, so the correct... You have to use a capital capitalized variable that's what i've done i thought okay. that was the interesting bit yeah so it knows that it's a it's a component name okay okay but it doesn't display for some reason okay let me just let's just hard code let's hard code one in there in case that's the error so we do so we do the rat <laughs> so oh, yeah because doesn't he do like one or the other so he does this dot props dot tag or foo yeah, because foos is default. E. Um, so should we have a default to make the code happy? We can try. You can. We can try. Yeah, but there, but that in his other example, he hasn't. He's just done. 
Yep, he has. You have to assign the name to capital letters. Oh, it said, yeah, but it says it won't work and it will cause a compiler error. That first one, the return this dot props dot tag. Yeah, but I'm doing, I'm doing the second one. Okay. The one that's the const tag name and then return tag name. I'm just going to get some water. I'll be right back. No worries. Mm. Okay, see, it reacts. Now it starts, so, so it says this is the correct solution. Hmm. It's inside the render method. Maybe it's because you can't return other stuff as well. Maybe you actually can't have anything other than. What 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 that casing? That's... It says that Gred is using incorrect casing. No, that doesn't work either. Incorrect casing. Yeah, it's the uh, um, next. Where are you seeing that error? In the uh, in the oh, GI rat. Oh, hang on, no, 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 I've gone. It is the correct one. It's the correct name. Yeah, it's it 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 using the incorrect casing. Please use Pascal case. What? Oh, so there's some. Uh, I mean, I'm going to try that, but that shouldn't work. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> I changed it to the correct to the case it said. It's so weird. The tag is not recognising this browser. If you meant to render to render a component, start this name, not the case, which we did. What was the other one we did? The um, the duck one. Mm. What was the duck yeah. one called? Uh, the the, oh, the goose. The GI goose. GI goose. <laughs> goose. Oops. No, it's saying unexpected token. Unexpected token in the bagging area. No, it's fixed itself now. Oh, it's unrecognized. All right, we will we will we will consult Stack Overflow. I told you this would be interesting. <laughs> Kind of a bit nasty now. I just ate some food as well because I was starving. Hmm, we're, we're struggling. Oh no, I thought maybe I'd come back and... No, the, the guy's example doesn't work. We're getting an error, <laughs> but I'm Googling it and it's saying that the error, it actually will work. It's just the compiler giving an error. But, it, but it's so, not working. Yeah, but it, it's, it's failing because the compiler finds that what it thinks is an error and it won't finish. But actually, if the compiler decided to ignore the error, it would work. Why don't we tell the compiler to leave? Well, that's where I was trying. That's where I was. And then it was getting all a bit, a bit complicated. Oh, 
Hi, compiler. You're not welcome. Goodbye. Well, well, well let's just look for a different a different approach to, to doing that because if, if that guy's solution doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it works on his PC. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Somebody ring him up. <laughs> he can't. He's on a mountain, according to this image. He's just putting his Chromebook in a mountain back. Yeah. Set. yeah do you know why? He's gone to throw his MacBook away at the mountain because his code doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> why would almost ten thousand people clap it? It doesn't work. Yeah, they, I, I've literally copied his code exactly. In fact, Ashley, while I'm trying to do it, just put his code in its own component, completely fresh, in case it's <laughs> the fact that we're doing something else. Um, that may be what it is that we're doing something else which it doesn't work with okay yeah well you can do that i might go in and change the colors of our um that's a good idea. Yeah, actually i really don't need to do that right now but you could you could I'm just thinking now that we've got the logo, I might go in and yes. update the logo. <laughs> and the colours. Uh, we don't have these these fake components. That's okay, I'll import a couple from Maybe because they're not importing as... Maybe they're not being imported because we're not using them and therefore it thinks that we're not using them so it doesn't add them in. Do you know what? That would be interesting, right? And I've got a little solution to that. Right, let me just see. Because if this works, then... then uh... okay. Hey! No, no, it's because I hard-coded it in. Uh... <laughs> Oh. But it should appear, it should appear twice because now I've got it dynamically and statically. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to be defeated and have like a whole load of switch statements. <laughs> there is a better solution. Stop prop stop tag. Um. Ever defines tag is the funny bit here. Components. Is he just insinuating that the thing inside of components? I don't understand his use of tags. Const tag name equals this dot props dot tag, and that's an index or foo. He's got two levels here, so this one's app, and then my component is tag equals foo. Tag equals bar. So he's got sub components. Did you see that, Russell? No. Where's that? Okay. So he's got one component that's my component, the first example, and then inside app, the next one, he uses that tag stuff that he's got to import each icon as a component. So he, you need a parent element to import those things dynamically as. And it looks like he's only, like, it looks like he's hard coding them. It doesn't look like he's dynamically doing it. I don't even think this is what we want. We, we, need, we need to be able to use the, the, the component from the name in the, in the puzzle objects. Yeah, but like, do you see what he did in the very last thing at the bottom? Yeah, that was something different, I think. I, I just no, no. 
that's used in conjunction with this. Oh. So this is the component, my component, and then he's using my component with this this dot props dot tag. It, it looked to me like his first solution he was was standalone. I don't think so. Because he says that's the solution, but then what's the rest of it? Yeah, but he never uses then my component. So then when he uses my component in here, that's when he uses the tag. That this dot props dot tag. Hmm. Because I can't understand what that tag means, this dot props dot tag. So he use he does this dot components and then he opens up an index thingy. Which I don't I I don't this is like some syntax that I'm not sure if that means or. I think it's some other thing. It's not a string, is it? I got it! Oh. I got it! Well, the huh. Okay, your problem is, it's a string inside the, inside the object. Mm -hmm. It's not a string. It's, the, it's a reference to the components that we've imported. So when I change tag name equals GI Goose, and then use the tag name, it's the correct one. Ooh. So it, it, we have to dynamically access the variable, right? So I think it looks something like this. So we've got... <laughs> uh, oh, element type is invalid, expecting a string. We want the string, but not a string. Kind of cool. Bipolar. <laughs> Like so what what what's it what's in there is a string. So we need to turn the string into into a into a dynamic variable. We're a step closer. Well, he's saved them as objects, hasn't he? But I don't know how he's done that. Yeah, but what difference does it make if we put it if we put it in an object? If we just say, I don't know, that's what he did. Well, well, I don't know. I guess you don't have to save them as strings. You can just save them as whatever. Where even is the string? I don't get it. Let's not make that puzzle. Oh, because when we put it into okay, uh, quiz in utils and puzzle here. So should we not have I... roots around all these things and possible images? Uh... Is this where we should be doing the imports? I don't know. Um... Just on Stack Overflow, it's all sorts of weird syntax that people are using. Well, I'll, is it possible to just import them here in the utils file and then not use the string syntax in the object? No, because it's not, it's not a React component. That... I know what you mean, where you'd return the component itself. Um... We're going to make it a React component. Possibly. Yeah. Right, okay, listen, right, carry on, carry on with the styling, and I'll just have a little deep dot, deep delve into the docs and figure it out. So you can, uh, you can, what I'll do, because we need, we need to make them clickable, and we need to make them change colour when they're selected, and have event listeners for all those things, I think. There's still, there's still some, some stuff to do on that. 
One, we need a size. But that would be on each image. So that sucks. Well, no, because we can do like children of each image. So whatever the child is. Or item. Say first child. I'll make them big. Because it was just. Uh... Oh, it only made one big. Oh, yeah. Oh. What a kind of. They just do grid item without the first child. Is that not. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. I thought, I thought the components, the like icon yeah. components under it would be. Yeah, that's better. Bigger. Even bigger, though. Um, yeah, bigger. That's probably good. Let's go to mobile check. Maybe bigger. Mm, hang on, I'm just pulling it up on, like, a phone. Yeah, bigger. Bigger. <laughs> That's good. Um, I wonder if I center it, if that's like different. Let's try center. I can add spacing. Yeah, but I think that's good. Maybe we don't need a border. Obvious. I can add a border. Uh, we can try. Yeah, maybe. We can have a look. We should be adding gaps. Mm -hmm. Great gap. Oh, because I've got a stupid copper and it probably hates it. Too much gap. What do you think? Too much gap? Hmm. Mm, no, I think that's a good amount of gap. We still have to put buttons and stuff, so like if you check on phone, it might be kind of weird. What do you think? Some smidgen less? Oh, you try a tiny bit less, but. Oh. Uh, sorry, that's Russell. me. Russell's breaking stuff. <laughs> Tag name item. Oh, item two. Because we have to put like a thing, like a like a word, something that says like. Yeah. Um. Need this. And then we're gonna need this. And then we're gonna need. What was it? Select all images that contain 
a something that contain a yeah something and then we'll have to dynamically pull the name of the icon yeah Select all images that contain it, okay. Yeah. Oh. Who's this name holder? Oh, we need like padding. Yeah. Oh, Can they see the uh, logo of uh, the friends? Can, they can. They can. They can see the uh, the console as well. But can they see logo host? Yes. Uh, no, 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 I mean, they can't actually access localhost, but they can see a picture of localhost. Okay, okay that's good enough. Yes. But well, apparently, I've, I've now found the solution that's actually in the docs from, Re from, from okay. React. But it doesn't work. Oh, so you found the solution from the docs, but it doesn't work. It still doesn't work, yeah. Well, what if we import them into the utils and then make it, it nice? It, it, might, it might work. And then or actually, we can get a function out of utils and move it I into just, the... I just don't get why that, that's not rendering. Because it's a, a swing. A swing! Roll from persisting. I guess you could pass the string, like get rid of the string of the string, but I don't know if that would oh. work. Oh.
Oh, we can see our things again. Yeah, nice. No. <laughs> Should we add some padding in here? Yeah, please. Crying, but then I get I get confused because like <laughs> there's like a nasty error and we're like ah. Don't worry, it's not it's not you, it's me. Well, I think we might need to move them down a little bit in the box. Actual. So you mean like the top? So we need bottom. I think, I think we need to move a tiny bit to the left and a tiny bit down. Hang on, this could be a deeper issue. Yeah. Does it scroll this way? Oh my goodness. And then that's pretty much dead even. Bot skin. Sorry, it's just come back to me. Um, I, I still think that's quite a lot of space. I reckon, what if we had any bottom, if we make it less, so that is... Okay, what do you cool. mean? You, you, wanna, you just want to move yeah, the whole thing down. Um, oh, you mean, okay, got it. So less... That, that makes sense? Yeah. Or we might have to do... Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so it actually gives the illusion of it being more even. It might even be a little bit more. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, that looks good. Close enough. A little bit more. The cat's misleading. You have to look at like the snowflake because it's pretty. Yeah, <laughs> Russell, are you in like the Matrix? <laughs> there's no, there's no code running down the screen, fortunately. Russell, can we use a create, create element? That's a good point. Um, Because I've, I've seen that in one of the other examples was using it was using create elements. I think our squares look mighty handsome. I agree.
Okay. Should we turn them into buttons? Because we're going, we're going to each be a button, right? No. Is that right? They yeah. are good, yeah. Well, you can just like on click. Yeah. On click sounds right. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's the image puzzle? We need on clicks here. We're gonna need a new function. Hang on, was that you? That was for <laughs> I just made something work. It flashed up working, then a fraction of a second later you did something and now it's back to an error. <laughs> you doing it on click. That's okay, I'll let you off. Does it, what, do you need to see it again? Yeah, it should work, be working now. I don't know. Um, Yeah, that worked. I know you've, you've coded it in, but the rats appeared. Hang on, why, uh, why am I not seeing? Ahahahahaha! The undefeated yeah. Russell, the undefeated. Did <laughs> really? it work? Well, yeah. It does. It does. It does because it's now turning a string into a component name. The reason I can't use the actual dynamic component name is because. Basically, you need an object that maps your imports to 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 their to their name, right? And then you can dynamically access them. That's what's actually going on in the docs. That's what that guy's missing. You have to map one to the other. Okay, so um, let me get rid of. So I don't need the helper method now. All I need is my tag name equals icons. Oh, come on. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay, so can you see on lines 37 to 39? I've got this icons object, which has the name yeah. and the component reference in it. Okay. I need so that need for each that one. Before. Then you can dynamically access them using the standard square bracket notation. That's what the, that's what that guy's example was missing. So we won't need to import... We will need to import them. So, so you've, you've imported them into the components, but yeah. now you need to create a map between the component name and a text description for it. Okay. We have this in a... Uh, 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 just uh, copy all of them and... Mutants. Yeah, you just, got, yeah, just yeah. call them the same name, just duplicate them. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you've got a yeah, <laughs> yeah. little copy, cut and paste job, though. Yeah. Shall I start? 
Did we have to do that? So yeah, that we need each one twice. And then I should be able to make that this dot state dot puzzle zero. And at, at one point, I accidentally mixed up icons and names. So I was I was kind of referred to the name. The Venture Console logged it and saw it was showing the wrong thing. It was showing rat when I was looking for GI rats. <laughs> so I was being, you know, defeated. Okay, there we are. There we go. Is that all of them? Nearly. I think there might be more. Oh, no, we're missing P. Oh, wait, did we ever put P in? Oh. No, we didn't. Oh, it's compiled. There you go. We never put C in. Look at that. It's dynamically changing them. That's beautiful. Oh, I'll, I'll put the C. Are you doing C? Because we've not, we haven't even imported them. Okay, and I'm just trying to think. It, yeah, but it worked because there happened to be, it happened to randomly chosen ones that were in the list. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that'd be a brilliant bug, that would, if we just don't have one import. This way, Babel won't complain about the imports because they will now technically be used by the objects. So it actually solves another problem. Oh, no, no, can't do that yet. Right, I'm just thinking, what can we do this if this work? I'm not sure if this will work. Right, but it might work because I'm using capital letters. Oh, no, no. It's been already been declared. Wait, oh, he's here. Hang on, who's done that? You, you, you're redeclaring GI Camel. I'm declaring um, the fee. The fee one. They're here. Where's here? 41. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. I oh, know, you can't yeah. get rid of those. Oh, I put them. So like, what? Then, oh, they're just not here. Okay, I'll just copy them up. Oh, Joe, right, right, right. That... And last one. Okay. So now what I'm hoping is now just to make it even more well. dense. Oh, element type is invalid. Where? Where? Okay. Okay. Right. So that's working. Oh, hang on, hang on. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay. So now I'm just wondering. And instead of declaring it into a variable, can we just directly use it inside the component name? No, you can't. It's... No. All right, not to worry. We just have to define. We just have to define them here, like this. Icon one. So you can just check. You can just. You can just do. Yeah. Okay. So then, no, you can actually just do the import code. Then it feels a little bit too much code, but. I have extensively Googled it. Okay, there you go. This is still better than, than like six if statements, switch statements, each with 50 things in it. Okay. There we go, we've got randomly generated. Okay. And every time we refresh the page, look at that. Hey! Phew! Oh, I should have done some research on this before I started doing it. No, it's good. I just hope there'd be some really neat way of just putting the name in and it figuring it out, but obviously not. I got two rats. Oh, you get you see already you've got you, you drink. Uh, actually, that looks like a squirrel to me. Well, there is a squirrel. Oh no! Wait, what's happened? Hang on, is that actually a squirrel? Yeah, there is a squirrel. That is a squirrel, not a rat. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a squirrel, and you there's also know, a rat. You've, you've got a reference. Wait, I got a problem. You've got a reference image on your lap. I do. I'm a little friend. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look. Oh. Well, I am poorly. 
I like naps. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. So where, so, so where are we at then with the... So we can add some event listeners on then. We can add, add some on clicks. Your class function. Wait, but I have a I have an error. Is that normal? Uh, Is it just weird, and the error pops up every now and again for me as well. The expected on click list, expected on -click list to be a function instead got a boolean. No, I've got a element type is invalid. Expected a string for built-in components or a class function for composite components, but got undefined. You likely forgot to export your component from the file that it's defined in. Mm, not to that as well. Or you uh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not seeing that, but I'll refresh a couple of times until it happens. Yeah. Oh, the on click listener to be a function. Image puzzle. Check the render method of image puzzle. I think maybe you've missed my. Uh. Oh, now it's. Oh. Oh, But where's our on? Oh, okay. Look what you've done. You've got an on click that doesn't do anything. Yeah, because we don't have a thing yet. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So make it. That's what it's moaning about. Mm, I don't know if it is because. Well, it's saying on click list is to be a function. Instead, it's a boolean because if there's no if if you just put the ta <laughs> but... if you just put a word in, it's a boolean. That's not the error that we're well, getting. Get, it's the error I'm getting. Get rid of it. Yeah, it's not the error that we're getting. It's like. Okay, okay let, let, let's fix the on click or remove it. To rule out the fact that that's that's the cause of the bug. Okay, it's gone. I'm now getting no errors because sometimes some an error in your code can give an error message that isn't accurate. So can I'm, you? Uh, oh no, okay, it's gone now. Okay, right. So let's push forward. Let's cover the icons in event listeners. Oh no, sorry. We want to put event listener on the div that holds the image. So mm -hmm. we can actually change the CSS class based on the, the selection or something like that, however you want that to work. No, I got it. He I'm getting it again as well. I got it again. Can you show I, think, I reckon it's one of the icons, like there's an error somewhere. Yeah. I think you probably made uh, a typo in... Puzzle.js. Yeah. Maybe? Or, or, or in your icons. In, yeah, your, in your icons. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, but we when it comes up, can we look in the docs to narrow it down in the in the blah, 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 in the elements thing in the inspector? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, sweet inspector gadget. I'm not getting errors at all, but. But you. Uh, I'm repeatedly refreshing, refreshing. Oh, I'm gonna got one now. Okay, <laughs> element exactly. type yeah. is invalid. Expected the string. Okay. He believes and this, it's this is coming from bit the string gas function, but got undefined. It's likely forgot your yeah. One of those has got a typo in it. Yeah. Because one of them, so the property exists, but it's going to be an image puzzle, isn't it? Because it was yeah. working before. So, right, pound for the first person that finds the typo. Oh no. So is it in image puzzle or is it in it's going to be an image puzzle i think my last my money is could be the capitalization mm. now they, they all look good to me maybe it is in the puzzle Oh, hang on. It looks good there as well. Okay, yeah, okay. But they've got to match up directly. Well, it's probably something um with capitalization or something. Yeah. It was actually icon four from the objects. That's what, it says the line because that was the the line that the that it dynamically came from, right? <laughs> so, but unfortunately, I'm not I'm not console logging. What was item four to know where the typo is? Why don't we? So that the next time it happens. Well, we know we need to I, to console log the whole thing. Yeah, we need to we need to con we need to console log the image quiz 
object each time the render methods run. And then we will hunt you down. We will find you. Okay, this dot state dot puzzle. So when it crashes, it will be. Oh, okay, I've got one. I've got one. Okay, so the array element is camera, rat, left arrow, thumb, musical note, thumb. And it's saying that the error is on line 98. 98 is icon 4. So icon 4 is thumb. Yep. I got it. What's wrong with it? It doesn't have... Oh, the... no, you, no capital U. <laughs> ah. Such sloppy typing. <laughs> Okay. Right. Have a good fire at that then. See if you can uh... break it. So... Oh, another one. Oh, is it save. more than one? I did save. Okay. The rest so, of them look so, good. So this one is moaning about line 13. In, oh no, image puzzle 98 again. That's weird that it's always icon four. 98. So number four for me is diamond. And you and it's called FA Reg Gem. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Camel case. Diamond. How do you spell diamond? No, that doesn't mean right. Also that's just the name that we're giving it. So that diamond. But but then we're using the same name in the other in, in the other file. I'm just going to type it in manually. Mm -hmm. F A red diamond red gem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it is. It is. It is correct because I've just typed it in manually. I've made. I've, I've hard coded it in. Okay. Uh, do you think it's suspicious that it's always number four? Yeah. Not from two times, but. Okay, let's do, it. Yeah. let's do it again then. Okay, I've got another one. I've got another one. Uh, that was quick. So this is one is moaning about line 104. Okay. 104 is icon 6. Icon oh. 6 is thumbs up. We fixed thumbs up. Have you done a hard refresh? Ah, no, but did, did, did you fix it in the other one in case you're repeating the error? Um. Yeah. But thumb is go is is go thumbs up, but in image puzzle, we're not even importing yeah. go. Thumbs we're up. not even importing go thumbs up. <laughs> that that'll do it. <laughs> Granny Poodle is going to get. <laughs> How do I solve element type is invalid? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's broken. I've deleted the internet. Okay. Oh, attempted input goes <laughs> thumbs up is not exported. Oh, if, is it the wrong place? Um, God. Because it's saying it's report. Oh. Go thumbs up is not exported from React icons. Go. Maybe you got the name wrong. Or maybe it was lowercase u, but then you've used the uppercase somewhere else. Let's go find in the docs which one it is. It's lowercase u. Okay, but you weren't using it lowercase when you were doing the image puzzle. So now the issue is... So change it to lowercase there, but then an image puzzle. There, and lowercase here as well. Yeah. Oh, and lowercase on the left side one. Everywhere, yeah. Right. So this is the problem. You fixed what you thought was the bug and actually made it worse. Yeah, okay. That should be fixed. We didn't import it. <laughs> that was our biggest bug. Yeah. Okay, no, that's that's it. I've, I've... Awesome. Like Twenty times and make sure that we don't get any weird errors. Yeah. Well, we're each doing it independently, so. Yeah, but if we all do it like twenty times. I've done it at least. Oh yeah, that's 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 good. Yeah. No error messages. Phew. Now, something I forgot to tell you about dynamically accessing things. If, if you're dynamically accessing stuff, you have to be absolutely sure that you don't make a typo. <laughs> because if we did them with a, with a switch statement, it would have said this does not exist. 
because we're doing it dynamically now, there's more chance we'll, if we make a typo, we won't see it. Be catastrophic failure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> dynamic variables are to be used with some caution. Okay. No. This is really cool, though, that we're like dynamically rendering. Yeah. I, I hope that I thought there'd be an even better way of doing it where we could scrap the object completely. But. <laughs> Not yet. Not in 2020. Right. I bet so the, the cool thing is, at least it's it's fixing our import our import complaints about not using a, a module. Yes. So it's probably for the best. Okay. Um. So, shall we quickly put event listeners on those grit on those boots? Let's call a fun let's have one let's have one event listener that we send the, the one that's been clicked on, the number what's been clicked on. We don't wanna we don't wanna have six different event listeners, do we? No, so we want one function. So why, okay, why don't we we want one function and we'll just send it the ID of the whatever picture's been clicked on. And then we can just toggle its its um state. In fact, what about this, Kim? What if yeah. we inverted it so the white was black and the black was white when it's clicked? Oh, yeah, that's cool. Because that would be super high contrast then. How do you, how do, you do that? Uh, there's a CSS invert function. Oh, okay. Well, no, I don't want to tread on Agatha's toes here. <laughs> All right, don't have a look. Okay. I'll write a function that's for click listeners. For click listeners, yeah. Oh, no, no, don't call it click listener. Why not? Be, be consistent with the other one. Isn't it a click handler? Okay. Fine. The, I, this is being written to the standard that if I was on a job, I would write it this way. Right, so, you know, this is, this is the way you should do it. Be consistent. Oh, okay, and what happens when we have functions that handle clicks that don't occur inside the class? We have to do this dot click handler. No, we're not doing that, Ashley. That's naughty. It is inside the class. But yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But when it's clicked, it isn't. So that's why we're using the fat arrow. Um. Then we have to. I mean, if you want to use binding, you can. But that's fine. Just use the fat arrow. Like this? Do you have complaints? Suggestions? No, that, no that's fine, but you, you didn't write it like that firstly. So I was getting annoyed. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? Well, it's going to receive an ID, isn't it, of which, of which icon's been clicked on. Think about it. Yeah. Icon, yeah. And then, when, and then the event list, the, the on click, should send the ID of whichever image has been clicked on. To where? Send it where? To the click handler. Just return it? Oh, well, yeah, no, yeah. No, not return it. Oh, and then we want to check with what the right answer is, but we don't have the right answer. No, no. On, on click of an image, we want to know which image has been clicked so we can toggle the CSS. Well, that first, but then we also want to compare it to whatever... Yeah, yeah, yeah but... No, it, not yet, and not in this function, because this is this function handles the click of an image. Yeah. Well, shouldn't it also check if it's right? No. No, you check it's right when they press submit at the end. Oh, so there's two, two submits. Okay. Yeah, there's the submit handler as well, as there is in the other one. <laughs> okay. Um... So here, just console log icon ID. And then, and then sends the icon ID. Um, you know what? I've got an idea. Shall we rename them all to zero to five so it's consistent with the array indexes? Because otherwise we're going to get yeah. into a muddle. Well done. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. I think we should just always be... Yeah. Always be weird and computery. Like, Real, real people, real developers came from zero. <laughs> okay, and then so we're gonna do. Yeah. 
So, Andrea, you can change the other icons on 93 and further down. They all need dec decrementing by one. What is it? Anonymous function, yeah. Send it, send it. Uh, String? Well, well, what is it? It's an ID, isn't it? Of, of a, It's an ID of which one's been clicked on. So it yeah, would be so do we want to send it this? So it would be an integer, wouldn't it? Why would... <sighs> this function needs to know which thing has been clicked on. The things have an array index. Okay. Because because we're actually creating them from an from an array. Fine. So, yeah. Now if we muddle these up, we're in real trouble. So in a minute, hopefully, we should be able to see on the console the idea of which one's being clicked, and then we can just change its CSS. Or rather, we can on Tuesday. Handler, okay, um, and this is and click handler is a member of the class. Uh, maybe actually, you'd be more suited to functional components. I uh, yeah, I do a lot of functional components. You, you seem to dislike this. I'm just getting confused because I do many things. going to work. Click handler is not defined. Well, it is. Oh, if you, you've done it inside the render method. Yeah. Okay, so now in the console. Ooh. Uh, it's not Something's happening when they're clicked. Is it returning not, a number? But it's not showing the console log. Icon ID. Uh, I'm, very I'm very confused now. Click handler. Member of the class gets called on click of the div. Now, why would, what, why would you return anything? Where are you, where are you returning it to? Just so that the function returns. But, but it, what purpose? Just so that, to see if it'll console log now. <laughs> Try it now. No, but, but you, you, you ready, you're returning something to something else that requests something and, and nothing is requesting that function return anything. Well, maybe it's more of a, a substantial function now. This is, <laughs> this is not science. This is me trying to... Try. Uh, I have no idea why that's not console login. That is weird. Let me just put some jibbery jabbery in there. Oh, okay. Typo. Mm -hmm. Since when is there a function called on click with lowercase c? Never. Never, yeah. You missed an L there as well. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Andrea. <laughs> yeah, it works. Okay, look, we now know which one's been clicked on. Can everybody see? Uh, okay, so what we're going to do on Tuesday is we're going to store the fact that it's been clicked in the states and then we'll conditionally render the css based on the fact that something's been clicked and then and therefore we have a toggle i haven't been able to make it invert colors i tried using 
filter invert? Yeah. Uh, what, I happened, don't know what happened when you did filter invert? It's, no. a, it's not an image, it's a font. So you have to do the background on the font. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, if it's, a, if it's a font, we just need to change the colour of the font and change the background of the div. Yeah. So background black, font colour white. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Background colour. Yeah, sorry, good point, Ashley. Yeah. It's not an image. Yeah, good point, yeah. It only looks like an image. It does. I really need to hang out with people, guys. You are hanging out with people. We, we are. People. Hang on. What do you mean? Are we not people? <laughs> you are people. <laughs> but like, my my reaction is a rat that sometimes pees on me. If you're lucky. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So if if you if you think this isn't interacting with people, try interacting with two children <laughs> continuously. Yeah, children can just be. That's cool. That can give you a seizure, but it's cool. Yeah, it no, except it would stay the colour when you select it, right? Yeah. Okay, so what you need to do is, in, is in, the, in the click handler, you need to store that which one's been clicked and then render the CSS off the back of it. So at the moment, we just console log in the ID. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is store that in the state in a... In a, in a in an object, maybe. Yeah. So... And then what? And then what? Kim can do is she can say that the CSS, if it's if it's in the click state, then show black background and white text or whatever. So you can just do that as an inline style. Cheeky. Cheeky. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ashley. But just think about your structure. Mm. That's just one, this? isn't it? Oh, sorry, I, I... Oh, sorry, Andrea. I was... <laughs> Andrea, th so think about that. Which one is it making active? You need a uh, index, not true. So you need a... An index? Yeah. What, so because what? it's only going to make one, it needs to make one of them. So it needs to know which one to do. But what if there are multiple options? Yeah, there is the six. That's the problem. You need you need to update the state and affect one of the six options. Or, or two or three. No, no, no. You're only clicking on one at any one time. No, because they can repeat. Have you refreshed it? They can repeat. Like so if you have three camels. Yeah, yeah, but they each have a different array indexes. Yeah, but you want to have them all pressed at the same time. No, no, you have to press each one individually. Yes, but you want them to stay pressed. You want them to all turn yeah, black and then hit submit. They're, they're all they're, they're all different parts of the puzzle. They're all distinct array elements. The fact both are rats is irrelevant. If you click on number three, it updates number three. It doesn't care which actual picture it is. Yeah, but how do you make it stay black so that the user can know that, oh, I clicked on that because there are multiple options. Yes, yeah, so firstly, we need to store in the state which one they clicked on. At the moment, in your code, you're just updating the state to say clicked. But we need to update a part of the state to represent icon zero or something. Yeah, but then it should be an array of the ones that have yeah. been clicked. Yes, it should. Well, it should be an array of the states. It should be an array. OK, OK, think of it this way, Andrea, right? I would have clicked would be an, an array and it would be oh I like is that okay but so now okay so what you're going to do now is you're going to make a copy of clicked you're going to update the array element that's been clicked on and then you're going to put it back into the clicked property in the state no does this, my God. Does this make sense Kim yeah, I'm sorry, I'm burning out a bit, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's in 9.30 and I'm... Um... <laughs> do, you, do, you want to call, do you want to call it quits, ladies? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll and be then, honest. Okay. And then start afresh on... Tuesday. Yeah. You know, okay, cool. So, <laughs> right, Ashley, attack my terminal. 
<laughs> so, so tonight started off being productive and it went a bit downhill when I didn't have a solution. And then it's rapidly accelerated into success towards the end. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it always happens like that. Like, I feel like we're more engaged towards the end. Maybe, yeah. Well, time's yeah. ticking on and our beds are wait. It takes a bit until we... Yeah, so. um, is that it? That's all that's successfully working, right? And styling? Yeah. And click handling. Let's not undersell this. This is good stuff. I've considered less code a day's work. <laughs> but only when I'm paid by the hour. I'm just going to have a whole lesson on business, <laughs> the business of being a coder. I mean, you find you spend a lot of time not coding, a lot of time in meetings. Mm. Yeah. It depends how moral you are, though, because I know you've got certain views, Ashley, so. Look, you... I waited, I'm waiting for the design team for a PDF file, for an emailer in you... mail. You probably believe in a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. I sit, well, I do what I can, and then I sit there and wait for someone else to do their job, and then I sit, and then I, and then I do something else, and then I sit there, occasionally bother them about something. Like, so, we'll, 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 we'll cover it towards the end, how to, you know, how to behave in the workplace. But if you're a new developer, just do what you're told and keep your head down. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Don't be the person that buggers up the server on the first day. <laughs> or something else horrendous. That, that's for you, Andrea, just in case you know. <laughs> don't be overconfident. If you don't know, just say, I don't know, I'm not sure. Let's say, oh, yeah, I can fix that fine. Pobre. I have a funny story. The... um. The guy, my supervisor, he was like, oh, yeah, just merge it into live. And I was like, are you sure you want me to merge this into live? And like, he was like, yeah, I'm deliberately giving this to you because I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, sometimes you're the fall guy. <laughs> I'm like, OK, well, we've had this discussion then. <laughs> it's, been, it's been discussed. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, well done, everybody. And I will see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Thank you, Russell. Cool. Cheers then. Cheers then. Bye. 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 Bye.